for taking the time to stop by our YouTube channel, What About Nepal. Today we are at the Sano Lake Resort in um, Bagnes Tal. We've spent the last week or more enjoying Pokhara area. So this was the last stop. Now we're on our way home. So come along with us as we explore the Sano Lake Resort. I call this a resort because it has so much more to offer than most places that actually call themselves a resort in Nepal. This is a very small guest house, but they have a good sized staff and a family atmosphere. There's at least one English speaking child, so it really makes for a great place to stay if you have children. It's clean, there's decent Wi-Fi, a friendly staff, comfortable bed, and hot water. Be sure to bring a sleeping bag liner. Due to it being such a remote location, you could get a random insect or spider. If you're a subscriber, you'll recall that I often suggest sleeping bag liners. You can get them at trekking stores in Kathmandu or Pokhara for under $5. The rooms were a bit small, but have attached bathrooms. There is so much outdoor seating space, you won't want to be inside. As most guest houses and restaurants in Nepal, the Sanu Lake Guest House has a full service bar with both domestic and imported brands. We enjoyed the outside dining, but if you come during monsoon or a cold snap, they do have inside dining as well. The menu is a bit small, but they make their own pasta, which I highly recommend. The local Nepali items were also well prepared. They have gas geysers instead of solar water heating. If you aren't familiar with this system, be sure to ask the staff how it works. Most of the rooms have a view of the lake. The room I stayed in had two views of the lake, which would make an air conditioner worthless. Open the windows, turn on the ceiling fan, and enjoy the fresh air. Being as this is such a remote location, you might want to cook for yourself instead of ordering from the menu all the time. We stayed at the Sanu Lake Guest House's accommodation just up the hill, and what a treat it really was. It's called the Casa Olivia, named after the owner's daughter. The kitchen was quite spacious, and the apartment included two bedrooms. This accommodation can handle about four guests, with one full-size bed in one room and two single beds in the other. There are trails along the lake, so you can enjoy a relaxing walk. The Bagnes Tal is on the migratory route of many birds coming and going throughout the year, so bring a pair of binoculars and a good camera. You'll be amazed by all the birds you'll find here at Bagnes Tal. The Sanu Lake Guest House is one of the best spots for bird watching in the area. Today we're talking with Rosin here at the uh, Sanu Lake Guest House in beautiful Bagnes Tal. Anyway, we stayed a few days here and it's so lovely, so relaxing. Just such a, a lovely way to end our Pokhara vacation. So tell us a little bit about this guest house. Mm -hmm. uh, how many rooms, first of all? Uh, actually, we, have, we got nine rooms. And just meeting the standards, just, we are just selling only six only at the moment. Uh -huh. yeah. So we're just trying to maintain the peace and the sanitary over here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And mostly the people choose us for, especially for the after trek. So they just kind of relax. Yeah. So it's like, um, kind of like a natural retreat. Yeah, it is. It's very nice. So this is nice because you can hike around mm -hmm. and it's just lovely and there are trails too. Yeah, some of it's a part of Royal Trek also. It's one of the ending part belongs here and yeah, the Royal Trek you're going to do for like, uh, it has been divided into different sections like a half day, full day, two days, three days, four days, up to one week you can make a circuit of the Royal Trek. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. It's like the Valley Rim trek in Kathmandu. Actually, it's like a Prince Charles who did a camp over here. That's why it's named Royal Trek. 
the best feature, one of the best features of this guest house, I found to be the lake, of course, the mm -hmm. views of the Himalayas, mm -hmm. but you can even go fishing. Yes? Yeah, yeah, we do organize the fishing trips also. Yeah, it depends on what sort of fishing they want. Like we start from the bank fishing uh -huh. to up to the fast flowing river fishing also. So oh, you can go on the river yeah, with it. Oh, we we do organize nice. the fishing trips also. And so what kind of fish do you look for? Actually, for the amateurs, we let them introduce with uh, some carps and uh, dark water fish tilapias. Um, oh, you have tilapia? Yeah, we do have a lot. Now they're destroying the do. whole lake. <laughs> yeah, they're taking and over then. Yeah, for the professionals, we take them to the rivers and uh, specific spots for the golden mushroom. Very nice, very interesting. Okay, and then, of course, the views. These views are lovely. The moon <laughs> came up right over here the other night, right over the, the Himalayas, and it was just unbelievable. Yeah, normally like people they see the sunrise, this kind of things. <laughs> but here you are lucky to see the sunrise also. At the same time, the moon rise also. Yeah. yeah. So that's the best part of our place also. Yeah. yeah. The uh, morning sun came up right over this area too. Okay, well, I appreciate your time and this lovely stay at your place. Thank you for so, staying with us. If you want to know some more detailed information, just find us on sanulake.com. Sanulake.com. That is my webpage and like, if you want to follow me on Instagram, just find for sanu.lake. That's me. But this is called Sanu Lake. Right? Yeah, this is called Sanu Lake, yeah. And Sanu means small. Small, sweet, lovely, yeah. So, and like, uh, yeah, my name is Razan, but uh, now I'm known as Sanu. Sanu. So it's my international name at the moment, Sanu. Oh, very nice. <laughs> On the map, they will see Sanu Lake. Is this yeah, the yeah. name if of you, it? Yeah, if you just look on Google or wherever, uh -huh. you, you can find like Sanu Lake or Sanu Lake on the water. Oh, okay. Because we are exactly on the water. <laughs> on the water. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you like to fish, you'll find this lake is just what you need. The Ragnus Tal Lake is pristine and packed with fish. You can rent a boat and equipment here. But if you have a favorite accessory or gear, be sure to bring it from home. We rented a fishing pole and gear, but soon realized something was missing, the sinkers. It was still fun and relaxing, and we saved a lot of time by not having to clean the fish we didn't catch. If you row to the other side of the lake, you can find a little temple with a nice place to rest and fish from the bank. Our suggestion would be to rent through your guest house host. Our guest house manager was away for the day, so we had to do the renting on our own. Your guest house manager will be more interested in you having a good time. For the entire day, it would cost around $20, even with a person to row the boat. So what about Nepal? Hope you enjoyed the video. Follow along with us, subscribe, hit the like button, and if you're needing some travel insurance, please click on the link below to support our channel. See you next time. Namaste. Namaste.